Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and I just finished doing the video on the radars and the M-frame so I figured I'd uh, stick with this particular topic and um, you know do another review on a pair of glasses that laid the way for another pair of glasses so the one I'm going to do now is going to be on the half jacket and the flat jacket um, now I have done a couple videos on these uh, styles before but I wanted to show everybody the uh, exact differences and the exact similarities between the two styles. Uh, and hopefully this will answer uh, any lingering questions that might be out there. Uh, same thing with the uh, radar and M-frame uh, video as well. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the older ones this time and kind of work my way up to the newer ones. So um, these are a pair of my half jackets. This is a polished white frame with a titanium iridium lens. Now, uh, the half jackets do come in two style lenses. They come in a standard lens, which is this one right here. It's rounded off at the bottom. And uh, I don't know if you guys can make it out there, but it says titanium on the bottom of the lens there. Uh, uh, yeah, I think you can see it. Okay. Um, these are great sports-specific lenses. Um, you know, they fit really, really comfortable, as you guys can see. Um, they are a lot smaller than the radar and the M-frames are. Uh, but the good thing about these is that uh, they, they're very lightweight. Uh, they move around really nice with you, and they stick on your head as well very nicely. Um, the frames are fairly thin. Uh, they do have the rubber on the, uh, on the legs right here, which will help keep in place. Uh, no hydrophobic coating on the lenses, though, but you can get polarized lenses on these if you want. Uh, the, the, the cool thing about these lenses is that they're very, very flexible, the frames. Um, and they're, they have no moving hinges, uh, so the legs, you know, if you were to step on it, the legs will just come off and then you just pop them right back on. It's, uh, it's a big plus for me, especially if you drop them, if you sit on them or something like that, you know, uh, you're not going to have to worry about them breaking. They have the, uh, the rubber pieces on the nose here, which will help them keep in place also. And just a, an all-around uh, pretty comfortable uh, pair of glasses. Uh, the cool thing about these in comparison with the radars or the M-frame is that because they have a more uh, lower profile, you can wear them as everyday pair of glasses as well, and they won't look too sporty like the, uh, like the other ones will. So this is the uh, standard lens, and then I have another, another one here, uh, same frame color, uh, just this is the ice iridium, and actually these are polarized. I don't know if you guys can make that out there. Uh, bottom of the lens it says polarized but this is the uh, the XLJ uh, shape for the lenses so it's just uh, it's a little bit bigger it comes down just a tad more but it's more square um, here's the uh, here, here's the standard one again so you guys can see this one's rounded off at the bottom this one's squared off um, when it comes to the two styles is is personal preference um, it just depends what's gonna fit your face better um, what you're going to be using them for, you know, these will come down a little bit lower. So if you're going to be looking a, up a lot, maybe a volleyball player or something like that, these will be a lot better because they'll give you uh, more coverage coming down uh, towards your cheeks. Um, you know, the other standard lenses is maybe for looking straight ahead. Um, you know, you, you'd be good to go with those. So same frame, as I said. Now, uh, jump forward a couple of years and you get the flak jackets. Um, as you guys can tell, very, very similar in, in look, flak jackets and half jackets. I mean, they almost share the name itself, but um, the frame is a little bit different. As you guys can see, this one's a lot thinner. Um, round, this one's round, the half jacket is round, while the flak jacket is square. Um, as far as fit goes, pretty similar fit. Um, really, really comfortable. I really like the, uh, the flak jackets. I do have a couple of uh, styles on these. And again, you do have the two uh, lens options. This is the standard lens, which is squared off at the bottom. Um, I feel that these are a little bit more comfortable for my frame just because the, the legs are flat and not round. So after a certain time, you know, the round legs do, do tend to start um, kind of digging into the back right here. But I'm talking about hours of use. So uh, it's still pretty comfortable. Um, it does have the rubber on the ears right here. And it has it on the nose as well. And same concept with the legs, they do pop off just as easily as the other ones do. Um, one of the main differences is the, um, the hydrophobic lens coating on these. So when water or sweat or anything like that gets on it, it'll slide right off. So that's the main difference between uh, the lenses on the half jacket and the flat jacket. Um, that was the standard one, and I do have an XLJ um, model right here. As you guys can see, uh, a little bit longer. This is a matte black frame with a black iridium polarized lens. 
so um, you know it has the rubber this is a really nice frame it's um, very low profile it's just black all the way around um, a lot of military units get issued these because they since it is a matte black frame it won't reflect lights uh, the you know light and stuff like that glare from the sun it won't give away your position the lens is uh, maybe a little bit too shiny for uh, military applications but um, all in all, it is a polarized lens, so it'll give you uh, good protection from the glare and stuff like that. Um, and then, as you can see, this is the actual J lens, so it's a little longer. Uh, and here is the, uh, the standard one in comparison. So again, personal preference, depending on what you're going to be using them for and what you need them for, um, you know, is, it's what lens you're going to choose. The same thing with the legs on these. You know, they, as you can see, I, I'm putting a lot of pressure, and it's actually not even coming off. But if I had to and put enough pressure, it would come off. Um, and I can just pop it back in so um, you know that's what's good about these these frames very very lightweight um, very easy to use every day all day um, you know if you wear them you're walking around you go inside you put them, put them right up here on top of your head you know a lot of people do that they're very comfortable they're out of the way so I really really like these uh, these frames myself um, you know the I've, I've been using these for, for a couple of years and you know so far so good so um, uh, hopefully that'll answer a couple of lingering questions. Like I said, um, guys, I'm sorry about the, uh, the quality of this. I really wanted to get these videos out. So I'm using my, uh, the camera on my laptop. Um, also if, if the, um, the voice is in, in sync with the video, I'm sorry about that, but this is obviously more of uh, so you guys can see what they look like. And so you guys can hear some of the features and things like that. So, um, you know, I, you know, if, if it doesn't, then I'm sorry about that, but, uh, if it doesn't, Hey, you know, there you go. So let me know if you guys have any questions and thanks.